like he kind of started here. So you might be able to use this. Just start right there. Just, yep, just do a bilateral incision all the way around. And if you need me to hold him, well, yeah. She is not playing. She ain't playing. She really excited. Can you see? Sorry. The Ginsu knife. It's the exacto knife from. Oh, careful. Careful, careful. Be very careful. All right, let's see what we got. All right. I didn't go deep enough. Didn't go deep enough. That's okay. I didn't want to mess up nothing. That's okay. I'm going to help you. Good cut, though. <laughs> go ahead. So, as you can see, there are three layers of heart, muscle, right? So, what are those three layers? Go ahead. Endocardium. Endo. Epi. Myo. And epi. Myo and epi. Go ahead. Epi is the one above, because epi means above. Myo means? There you go. And endo means? Inside. Okay, let me turn them around. That looks like liver now. So let's see. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. So probably go with that one. Oh, God damn. Ugh. Right there. Yep. Good. See where I'm, see where you gotta cut? Yeah. We don't want to kill the chambers. <laughs> right. Turn it a little bit so I can get to it. Where do you want it? <laughs> right there. Alright, so I'm going here. Mm -hmm. See where you gotta go in? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now on a cow heart, it's gonna be a little thicker. Uh, the the, the uh, the muscle on the side is going to be a little thicker on that left side, just like in the human heart, because you need that oomph to be able to get it. Don't worry, you cut me and I'll give you an F for the term. There goes your grade. So I get an F for the term. You get an F for the term, and then you get to look at me for four more weeks. Am I going right? Yep, right here. I was, but... Does cow heart also have bicuspids and tricuspids? I think so. That's what I was wondering. Do they have everything that... Cut a tendon. It's okay, go ahead. So now, feed me. Looks like a Venus flytrap. Yeah, get in there. See the coordinate tendon? You can already see them here. Look, yeah, see right them here. See right there? All that. Look at that. Y'all can put some gloves on. Look at Y'all can put some gloves on if you want. There's your vows. I'm cutting into the vows. Look at that. You're gonna be. A, you're gonna be a YouTube star. There's your septum. <laughs> Look at that beautiful, beautiful. Isn't oh, that gorgeous? Yeah, it's just that. like a parachute. Oh, man, man. That's awesome. Yeah, you can touch it. Put some gloves on. Touch <laughs> it. Come on. Look out of the way. Got a man. Here. Now I'm gonna cut in here. Yeah, get the barbecue pit going. Get it going. Yeah, wait, who got the who got the pit going? Now you can see your valve. See your Publix is right up the way. Get some barbecue sauce. You guys play. So what is that called again? Just watch. Playing with your food, huh? There's a whole new meaning to playing with the food. Peekaboo. Hey, me. Peekaboo, I see you. That's really thick, too. That's awesome. See how thick the muscle is? So, like, what's that? So, this is where it pumps out. This is obviously the right ventricle. Wow, that's What's that called again? That, this? Yeah, that. That's the chordae tendinae. Those are cool. Little, Those are they're like little that ligaments that flap open the valve. So, like, whenever the blood comes in, the in through the ventricle, they like, they equal. shut. Uh, and they open as they yeah. Yeah. If any of y'all want to touch it, there's mass, there's so, gowns, there's this gloves, is the, help yourself. This has to be the left ventricle. Said, this no. is okay. the left atrium right here. Didn't you say you were hungry? Like there you go. I'm hungry for that. There it is. Right, right there we go. There you go. Right here. Yeah. You can incise it if you need to see that it better. One. Yeah, this would be the right atrium, right? Right, right up here? This right here? That's your aorta. Right like an hour ago. That's right. Mm. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. I want to take pictures. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Hey, Mary. Y'all can see real good from crazy. Over here. The rest of him is chilling right. at the butcher. I just finished eating the rest of him like an hour ago. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. All right, so right here, this chordae tendine, I see like a small opening. Well, the chordae tendine hooks the valve, right so there's got to be a valve right there. Yeah. yeah. 
Come on in. You can see from over here, y'all. Can some of y'all can move over here? Oh, look at that. It's awesome. Oh, that is. See, and if you look like way in here. Whoa, look at, look at it up through there. There's like a valve in there. Sorry. Through the cordae tendine. Look at you. Like way up there. Immediately. Look how pretty these are. I know, right? I'm getting her iPad, hers. Take me in. That's awesome. Look at that. There you go. That's a good one, too. So. And you feel how tough that is? It's like really, that's like that's really firm. It's like solid. That's not soft at all. Interestingly enough, that's a pretty healthy and fresh yeah. cow heart. So these are the coronary sinuses here? So they're coronary tumor or something. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to find a tumor or something in there, but I didn't see anything. Yeah, I was useful. hoping too so you can cut it out. <laughs> and these are very similar to human hearts, or they're similar to human hearts. Pig is probably the closest, and in fact, yeah. they still use pig oh. uh, valves. Somebody, so many So, look at that. This would be your left atrium right here coming in. That's your right. Right. That's your superior vena cava. Well, I flipped it. He flipped it, it around. Yeah, I, flipped it, left. Yeah. I flipped it, yeah. Okay. So it's coming right through. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Don't poke around this guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peekaboo. Uh, 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 this is, I guess this, would this be the... This, yeah, this is the aorta. Yeah. Right. So it comes mm -hmm. up mm -hmm. through... The ventricle right up through there. Trying to find the other. And the ventricles, See, that's I mean, even be an in the cow heart, they're not huge, but they're not really designed to hold blood long. They're designed right. to get it in, get it to the lungs, pick up the oxygen, get it back, and get it to the body. Mm. Now, you want me to suture? Oh, yeah. Awesome. You want to what? Gonna stitch it? She's going to stitch it back up. Okay. Oh. I'm just going to do a piece of it. Ooh. Somebody. Tracy, okay? Somebody hold it. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> All right. Now, I don't have the proper suture exactly. Oh. However, oh. let's see what oh. I can oh. do. Oh. Oh. Did you guys learn about suture in your surgical class? I did. What did you learn? Okay. <laughs> this is this is ethylon, and ethylon is a type of nylon. In the operating room, we have two different types of basic sutures. You have internal sutures, which are basically dissolvable sutures, and you have nylon and non and some other types of non absorbable sutures. And in the old days, they used cat gut. Um, I came into surgery a little bit after the cat gut, but they used to redo the cat gut. And, and as a matter of fact, they used to redo the suture, but now when AIDS came out and stuff like that, they stopped doing it. So you have your needle holder, and actually this is not the proper size needle that you would use. And a lot of times you would use a blue type um, uh, ethylon type thing for the heart. But you need the proper size. There's different needle sizes for different uh, closures, if you will. So, what you do is you get your needle holder. I'm just going to do a basic closure here. I hope the the uh, the needle's kind of small, so it may be it may be tough to do. I'm going to turn him around. Thank you. You guys will not be suturing as medical assistants. However, you probably will be taking the sutures out. That's so fun. you will be assisting me. Somebody will be assisting me. I need, I need another pair of hands to assist. She's going to hold. Yeah, she ready. Ooh, if you're going to assist, come on this side for me. Because you're going to hold the suture. Or actually, come right on this side of me. On the other side. Right here. Okay. So we're going to try to pick an area that's not so <laughs> fatty. Maybe down here. Turn him totally around. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to... One of the things you want to do when you're suturing a wound up is you want to make sure that the sides are together. See this little jagged edge here? They would, you'd have to probably even do a little mini repair because if you, don't, um, if you don't suture with the edges properly together, remember, you heal from what? The, the inside, inside out. out. So as you heal, it won't heal properly, and that's when you start to build up a lot of scar tissue. Okay, so hold him real good for me. Okay. 
you're going to do what is known as tend the suture. So you're going to make sure that my suture doesn't get all over the place in my way. So grab the end for me. Top. You're going to lay, not too tight though. Have your pickups and you never want to grab a needle uh, with your bare fingers. Yeah. Watch so you don't, okay. So with a small needle like this, you don't want to take a big chunk. So how many of you guys remember pronate supinate? Actually, we used to say pronate, <laughs> supinate, masturbate, but that's how we <laughs> So we're going to pronate in, okay, and then we're going to supinate. Never touch the needle with your hands. You always use your pickups. Okay, now that's a pretty big bite considering I have yeah. a little needle. I may need to take a smaller bite. I don't have, next time I do this, I'll have to have some, some zero or maybe even some two. Let's see if I can take a smaller Don't worry, I won't get you. I'm a professional. <laughs> okay. So there's my first. Now I'm going to do what is known as a throw. Okay, you let go. You let go. Okay. Not you. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you never let go. So we're going to knot this. Okay, so let's see what we can. It's been a long time since I did this stuff. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a couple little knotties. Hold them real tight for me. Oh, awesome. Good. Go in. Okay, hold them real tight for me. Now, the problem with ethylon is it's kind of plasticky. Mm -hmm. So, I actually didn't want to, I need to pull that out a little more so I don't use all my suture. And they have non dissolvable and this is, dissolvable? You would use dissolvable if you were doing internal sutures and non-absorbable. Uh, non well, in the heart, of course, you're going to use dissolvable. Yeah. But if you were doing like, yeah. see the yeah. breaks, because yeah, yeah. it's not the proper size. Yeah. But you would do um, non-absorbable if you were doing like skin. Let's try this again. See, it's not the right size suture. Thank not you. what she said. Let's try it again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not my problem. <laughs> I can't help you. Well, I, I know a doctor I can refer you to. Uh. <laughs> there. Okay. Do you trust me? I trust you. It's full. If any of you are interested in working in surgery, by the way, it is all about trust. You have to trust the people you're working with explicitly. And it's not a please and thank you kind of world, I'll tell you that. Okay, so let's try it now. Thank you. Okay, so here's my first throw. Hold them real tight. So every time you go stick the needle through, you have to tie another knot? Well, I'm doing this. This is called an anchor suture. Just to hold it, yeah. Just to hold it in place. And then we'll continue on. Now, Cuba, grab the scissors. Cuba. <laughs> and you're going to make this tail go away. You're going to, not too short though, just this one. Good girl. Very good. Now, now I have my anchor. Now I can sew. And there's a lot of different kinds of ways to sew. We're just going to do a basic. And you see how close we are? If you ever think about working in surgery, this can't bother you. Being in somebody else's space like this cannot bother you. And some people are really freaky about their space. They want their space, not in surgery. The first case I ever did, the first time I held a heart, it was just like this. Remember me telling you the story? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his face was in my, like his ear was right where my mouth was. And I was like, that's so effing cool. And he <laughs> like looked at me and I thought, oh, I'm dead. And he's like, yeah, it is effing cool, isn't it? Okay, so tend my suture, good. And when I say tend my suture, you're basically just not too tight. Mm -hmm. You're just getting it out of the way. So now we're gonna go down, pronate, supinate. Oops. <laughs> now see, if, if you run an OR, you get yelled at about it. Mm -hmm. Twice. <laughs> exactly, yes. Yes, it does take a while. That's what she said. 
Now who wants to try? I do. I want to try. Okay, whoever wants to try, get your little gloves on, get in here. Just be real careful. <laughs>